Today we'll be exploring Kia Town. the Yasaka Pagoda. So right now we are at Fushimi Shrine. Yeah, so this one's quite a walk and this is that iconic, you see in most photos, that iconic walkway that's red. Um, so that's in here, but it's quite a distance to walk to, I think. But let's go check it out. Let's go. We did wake up at like 6.30 saying we're going to be here by like 7 and we kind of messed up on the trains. <laughs> they do get a bit confusing here. But so we had, we went about what, 20 minutes down to another way. We had to get off and come all the way back again. Yeah. But we made it and it is looking stunning. Beautiful. Yeah. Really nice. And the weather is perfect. Perfect weather here. Oh. Except this is all I brought. I brought this and a jersey. So I'm ending up having to wear this every day just so I can cover my chest to keep myself warm a little bit. Because <laughs> it gets nippy in the mornings and towards the evenings. <gasps> Look at this. Let's do a spin around so you guys can see behind us how amazing that is. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Oh. Beautiful. So I see a lot of people come here to wash their hands. I don't really know the purpose and I should probably research that, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I see everyone else is doing it. Oh, here we go. Maybe it's like a cleansing thing. Okay, this is the map. As you can see, it's massive. So we're gonna try to get all the way to the top if possible, but we're down here at the moment. So there's just like a ton of shrines all over the place. Okay, we'll make it to the end. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let me just get some facts about this temple. So Fushimi Inari is the most important of the several thousand sh of shrines dedicated to Inari, the Shinto god of rice. Wow. So foxes are thought to be Inari's messengers, resulting in many fox statues across the shrines, shrine grounds. It's very interesting. Okay, so that's it. Oh no, stay away from those. Wow, these shrines are amazing. Oh, it's so nice. So on this side, it has all the writing. And then let's do a spin, turn around. Which way? Which way? That this way? way. Okay. And then nothing on these sides. Right. Interesting. So what I read was that um, these are all the names of the people. Oh, <gasps> this careful. <is> step. <laughs> these are the names of all the people. Well, I don't know if it's names. Um, but something to do with the donations of these shrines. So they, each person who donated got a shrine. That's what I read. <laughs> each person? Y yeah, or well, it depends how many you bought, I suppose. Or donated. Oh, the bigger right. your shrine would be. Or, right. It's hectic. Wow, 
Wow, this is such a peaceful walk up on these stairs in the forest here and the birds. Oh, it really is nice. Yeah, it's lovely. I was expecting less people the higher you go, but it seems that everyone's actually racing to the top to try to find a nice spot to take a picture. Right, so if you want to get your pictures, come early. Yeah, earlier than I would say 8 o'clock. Yeah, way earlier than 7 o'clock for sure. I mean, it's not bad now, I know it gets worse later, but it's still hard to find a quiet spot to take a photo. Yeah, everyone yeah, just guns it for the top. <laughs> Well, we made it to a nice viewpoint. I think it's a bit glary on this camera because it's not focused on the background, it's focused on us. But I'll just put a video over there so you can see the background. Yeah. <laughs> so I just did some research on the Fushimi Shrine. And there's over 12,000 steps. <laughs> That's a lot of steps. It takes... Oh, is that why you didn't want to tell me? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to tell you. It takes about two hours to get to the summit. No. Two hours of walking. That's <laughs> two hours up and two hours down. Yeah, it go, it, this, the hill goes up like 233 meters. Oh. That's insane. <laughs> so, <laughs> luckily, what they do, they got vending machines and little gift shops, so they do sell drinks. So, we put our little fizzy drink now to get yeah. some energy. I know this is probably not the best thing to have, but we need the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know Keep if we. Keep us positive. Yeah. Are we going to travel the whole thing? <laughs> We made it to the top. Woo. Well, it was so fast. It yeah. did not feel like two hours at no, all. No, it wasn't. I, it was actually just an hour. Maybe because we're walking really fast. Maybe. Maybe it's an hour up, an hour down. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. That's where Jason got the two hours from. It's an yeah. hour up, an hour down. So it's not too bad. That's easy. Not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. Easy walking. Very nice. Just speed walking to get past people. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of people. Yeah. To get all those photos is difficult. <sighs> okay, so back down. Back down. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jade and I have taken the train from the shrines to this area where we are now. It's called Gion. And we've got something very exciting, very exciting for you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna get dressed in uh, kimonos. Yeah, so we're here in the shop now. It costs about um, 9,900 yen for a couple and that includes the hair for me. So, gotta take your shoes off and then get ready. Go, cool. let's go. Okay. Color show I think you suit blue, hey? Maybe like this color. Or this green. Ooh, the green's nice. How color should I take this? Um. Ooh, there's just so many options. Wow. There's pink. Mm. I can match your color with you. <laughs> okay. You want to see? Mm. There's so many options. I'm like stuck between this one. Oh, maybe the green. No. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't pick one. Let's see. It's close enough, not like too much. It's close enough. Okay, we'll do the green and then this one. Okay, matching color? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I think the gold looks nicer with the outfit. I don't know, what do you think? Which one looks good? Gold? Okay, gold. Give us a spin. Woo! Uh-huh. Wow, amazing. So, all right, so we've got our kimonos on. Oh man, and the experience was so cool. Yeah. Just the, the process of getting ready, it was just, I was smiling so hard that my cheeks started hurting. Oh, okay, that's that. <laughs> man, it was just such a fun experience. Even when she was doing my hair, I got like options to pick from and I, was just, I couldn't pick. Like there was so many of them, it was so beautiful. And then I got to pick my flowers and 
um, take a little bag. You can get an umbrella, but I didn't really want to be walking around with it. Meanwhile, now with the sun, I feel like I should have got the umbrella. Yeah, it makes more sense to get an umbrella now. Yeah, but I didn't want to carry too much stuff. But there is that option. And um, yeah, it was just really, really nice. Jason's bald from the back, he actually legit looks like a monk. <laughs> hey Jason. But then you turn around, you got this beard, which doesn't help. <laughs> so we walked down an alley and we came across uh, the Yasaka Pagoda. This one over here. How beautiful. Epic, it's so iconic here in this like very um, old look, traditional looking town and that's why we chose to do the kimonos today because this town is super cute mm. and there's not too many people right now which is surprising because it is I mean it is a lot there's a lot of people but still it's not overcrowded yet not too bad I mean you can you can't get a shot with no one here obviously but right, it's good enough <laughs> Starbucks ever. This is a Starbucks. This guy's like. Look, no entry there. Gotta go down there. Okay, so we're inside the Starbucks now, we're gonna get a drink and we're gonna find a seat. Yeah, hopefully it's not too full. Yeah. But how cool is this? It is so cute. Starbucks is so pretty, wow. Hey? Mm. Like all the seats you can like sit on the floor and like chairs. It feels very Japanese. It very does feel very Japanese, yeah. Mm. Everything that we've been eating, well, 
everything we've been eating has tasted amazing, right? Even the stuff from 7-Eleven mm -hmm. is incredible. We haven't had one bad yard. Yeah, we have nothing to complain about. It's just so good. Japan's got amazing food. I love Japan. Yeah, we're obsessed and the weather's great. It's like you don't want to leave. <laughs> We have made it to a gate, which is called Kiyomeza You were saying that right? You were saying that right, yeah. <laughs> You're just assuming. And it looks beautiful, wow, massive, huge. Very, very nice. So the uh, pagoda that we are at now is uh, called Kiyomizu Dera, which is actually a Buddhist temple. Yeah, so I think we said it wrong earlier, so that's the correct one. So this uh, temple is a World Heri a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And you can buy tickets, it's about 400 yen. You go in and then walk all the way down to that pagoda down there. But we're not going to do that just because there's a lot of people and we feel so like people, it yeah. just takes away from the beauty. So and I don't want to pay if it's just crowds. And also just like this, it's not the easiest to walk. Yeah, it's hot. It's really hot under this. <laughs> like sometimes you just like open, lift up it. <laughs> it's very hot. So we're going to go find a little place to go eat. Hopefully, yeah. if there's no lines. There seems to be lines for everything lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they do move. It's just standing in the sun makes it hot. That's all. Right. So let's go find somewhere to eat. Let's go get some food. So we're going to get a snack and it's a... Uh, Pickled cucumber yeah. on a stick. Yeah. Interesting, <laughs> weird. Never seen that before. Never so seen that before, yeah. Let's see how Just one, yes. Thank you. 300 yen, thank you. 600, 300 yen? Grab it now. Thank you. Take a picture. Okay, we got our pickle. Cucumber pickle. Let's <laughs> try, okay. Oh. Mm. That's very salty. Very, very salty. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> wow. It's very salty, yeah. Yo, I'm going to have to get like two bottles of water after mm. this. The first food I've tried that I'm not a big fan of. Mm. Interesting. So we found like a little, um, what would you say, a matcha house? Like a cafe. But they just do matcha. matcha yeah. So um, I'm gonna get a Yuji Maka matcha. matcha tiramisu. tiramisu. And I'm gonna go for that roasted green tea tiramisu. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. So we got the um, matcha and then the green tea. It's the same thing. This one's roasted uh, matcha. This is matcha tiramisu and this is green tea. Mm. Don't get too much of the top green. 
So at the end of the day, I was right. Mine was a green tea, and Jade had the matcha I tiramisu. Guess. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> First time. First time. Well, <laughs> is it though? <laughs> I wanted to know what is the difference between ma uh, matcha and green tea. What's the difference? If you know, please put in the comments below because we are definitely interested in knowing that. And yeah. This was a wonderful experience. If you ever have the chance to try this, you really have to try this. Yeah. Get the outfits done. Like it's, it, it might be a little bit pricey. It's not too bad, but it's definitely worth it. It's it gives a whole different experience. It does. Even the, the as I said earlier, the experience of getting dressed is it's just so fun. Mm. It gives you that whole like authentic experience. Oh, man, it does get really busy here in the afternoon though, guys. So try to get here early so that you can get some nice shots because we've struggled to try to get some pictures without people in it. Pretty much impossible, but anyway. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.